Here in Franklin County Schools, we want to provide the best education for our students, and that involves 21st century tools, including distance learning. But a large question comes up. How do we provide 21st century learning while keeping students and staff safe from 21st century threats? Exactly. You read my mind, and also many of the blog postings out there today. Many people are on one side of the argument or the other, and nearsighted either about student needs or technology needs. And don't forget about the network. Web 2.0 apps are great, but some can infect our networks or bring them down entirely. So what can a school system do to encourage creativity, while also not putting their network and students at risk? Well, it definitely takes a team approach. The tech department must work with the curriculum department. The school staff and students need their input as well. They are the ones who will use the tools each day. So, do you have some tips on how a school district can meet both goals? Absolutely. First and foremost, you must get all stakeholders to sit down and go over the goals. What do we want our students to do? Does it match the curriculum goals of the county and state? What about our acceptable use policy? Does it address these new tools? And if the acceptable use policy does not, what next? We would need to look at revising that. We want to make sure everyone knows how we expect students to use these tools in an acceptable manner. Okay, then what comes next out of this communication? With the tech department, we would begin to identify the tools that will be key in student learning. We will not focus on the vendors, but the tool. For instance, if a class wants to blog, we will focus on providing a tool that can keep the students and network safe while giving the student the functionality they need. Blogger may not work, but maybe at a blog or a hosted WordPress application could work. That makes sense, getting away from the name brand, while factor that sometimes clouds our decision making. If a class wants a blog, then they should not be tied to any one blog. Sounds like a good compromise. What else? Well, continued communication will be helpful. The tech department needs to set criteria on when and how things can be unblocked. Teachers and staff will need input into this. I don't think it would be unreasonable for a tech department to ask for at least a one-day notice for reviewing a resource and acting on it. I definitely agree with that. The big thing these days is YouTube and video content. How can a school system keep students safe from inappropriate videos while exposing them to great educational videos? It again comes to communication. TeacherTube is a great resource. In our district, we can actually allow YouTube videos through thanks to our filtering software. We have an educational video library that tech facilitators and CRTs can approve YouTube videos for teacher use. Like everything, this takes working together. If all these teams work together, things can get done. Well great. It sounds like teamwork is the one thing most crucial to the process. I think by following your steps, we can definitely provide a 21st century learning environment to our students, whether in the classroom, through NCVPS, UNCGI, or other environments. Thanks so much. No problem. Glad to help.